are you so low? Yeah. Like, why is, is your chair like? I was just looking at it. You're like so much shorter than everybody. Did you else. lower my chair? I mean, I may or may not have lowered that chair. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> <man>. <laughs> I'm already short, Ron. Why would you <laughs> set it up that can low? We, can we, uh, Why would we not do that to you? Each can we take a minute just to appreciate your hair? Yes. Like, that is. You that, take the hat off. Everybody, everybody, I did wash it today. Wait, so. oh, okay, thank right you. now, Brand will edit this. We're going to put in a picture right now of Beach Bum rocking a man bun. Uh, Rocky the actually, man you were gonna say we're gonna put a picture of him beside Jesus. <laughs> he does. He is like maybe like I don't know. Maybe that's what he's it's still going. a little wet. There is a video out there of him with a man bun catching his wife with a fishing pole. That, that, yes, what that exists? Where does this exist? And, and, and on his personal Facebook page. And, and, and he's not gonna need a boat. He's gonna be walking on water. So. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, my God. oh wow! We did not just go there with this. Oh, welcome back to another clickbaiters video. Video. This is a Clickbaiters podcast. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Welcome. You guys see us all the time on each other's channels. We have not stopped fishing together over the last year, and we've been trying to decide what to do with the Clickbaiters channel because we still have, are a team, and we thought that the best, the easiest thing for us to do was to make this a podcast and come to you guys like you know once a month, talk about what's going on behind the scenes of everything. And uh, just fill you guys in. Yeah, it, it, we get that all the time. Like, what happened to the clickbaiters? What nothing happened. Nothing happened, happened. Nothing nothing happened to the clickbaiters. We're all still fishing together. We, we're just putting the videos on our individual channels now, right. rather than putting. We them actually on have and, posted more videos in 2022 yeah. than any other year on our individual channels right. with us collabing together. Exactly. Yeah. So. Uh, so <laughs> we're, was this whole thing driven like you just did your big contest over in Orange Beach? Was this all driven so you could look more like Keith Urban? Well, my hair's longer than Keith Urban. Really? Yes. <laughs> so you you you've beaten out the Aussie and, and yeah, I, we actually had a hair competition that one. And you would. So are you now taking? Are you giving Brant hair care product advice now, or is he? Well, I, I don't do. You know, the thing about long hair is you don't have to do anything. Yeah, Brant is definitely not on that road. The, the more hair, the less care. Dude, I, my <laughs> hair, this, good, this may be the best my hair's ever looked. That's pretty good. It's I receding a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just a tad. It's turning gray, too. You're getting old. Oh, like, lots you, of YouTube gray. will do that to you. It will, it will create a lot of gray hairs on your head, that's for sure. <laughs> Miranda told me that the other day. No, when was she was like, hey, so, just, so in case anybody's wondering, Brant actually has the same hairstyle as, as the PYT. Him and Sarah have the same hairstylist um, that they go to, which is really, really strange to me because like I just either go to the barber or cut my own and it's no different than going to the barber. Like no, it is way it's different than different. <laughs> I've never listened to shampoo your hair and everything. I mean, dude, have you ever had your hair? Answer shampoo the question yes or no. <laughs> it's pretty nice actually. Oh my god. I've, I've done it. <laughs> you you had Courtney shampoo or have you went and had it done? No, I've had it done. Have you had a pedicure? Oh, now we're getting real, y'all. I haven't had one. I'm just curious. I right. have more than one. I knew it. I knew it. I've never done it. I've had one when I was probably like 12. <laughs> what? That's my mom used to drag me around when she was little. Who was, 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 was taking like, you to get a pedicure? My mom. Like, my mom wants to get her nails done. No like, wonder I had you grew up here. You had to like really define your masculinity <laughs> in your teenage years. Cut. Didn't you? <laughs> Man. This is a fishing podcast, and we're talking about hair care. They don't products. care about yeah. fishing. Yeah. They want to know about our hair care, and especially you getting a pedicure. None of us have even caught a fish lately. We've yeah. seen a bunch did, of fish on our GoPro. Did I did today. Guys, Dude, wait, look. Well, let's let's backtrack. Let's, this let's, is gonna let's not just jump right over the fact that Brand just said we've seen a lot on our GoPro. <laughs> How did that happen, Brand? How did it come about that you saw fish on your GoPro? We've been dropping them off bridges and piers and oil rigs. Oil rigs since and what, like 2017? Okay, so I actually, here's something fascinating. I looked up this morning, because everybody's dropping these GoPros right, now, right, and yeah. I was like, I just YouTube GoPro on a boat. There's over, or GoPro under a pier is what I YouTube. YouTube. There's over 150 videos. Oh, and that's probably YouTube. just the ones that popped. Yeah. There's probably another 1,500 right. that and most used of them, to You know where the most of them are at? Panama City Pier has been done a bunch. In the east coast of Florida, has been done probably 150 times. Which that's kind of shocks me because I, you know, I talked about in my video the 
the difference in water clarity from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic is, I mean, and I'm sure once you get down in the southern border, yeah, the it's different, is, but is, is murky. Oh, super. I mean, it was yeah. just like the, the cl water clarity was so much different. But we have there. caught a bunch of fish. This video, is, it, you're seeing this on Sunday. I dropped a video on Friday that had a bunch of fish in it. Too. I actually I caught fish now. last week. I was trying to give you some Yes, I was about to say. It just plugged the shit. Yeah, yeah, go subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Go subscribe. But you, you catching fish is not a phenomenon. When I go out, I will day, say this, and I don't know when you're dropping that video. Today. Okay, so, so when you guys see this, it will be a So Ron problem. had his single, hands down, best day fishing that he's ever had by himself on the Mako. No question. Go, go check that out. Well, well, he, he posted a fish kill on his table pick. I've never seen group, Ron post And I was like, kill. Ron, where did you get that picture? Like, that did, you like, did you like what I said? All I, all I said was no sunset photo required today. That only happens like once every six months for me. So. But, I mean, Brad, you've been like, no matter what you do, it's golden right now. Uh, it's it's like, like, can we fire. talk about Brad's rise to the social media startle? Yeah, man. I mean, but hey, one year but, ago he was intern Brad. But I want to say this. All, one year ago, in, in all seriousness, I want to say this, and you and I had this conversation yesterday, and I mean this. This is not a joke. I feel like there's nobody on the platform that deserves it. I you put in agreement. so much hard work and like saying karaoke. Yeah, you were like even yeah. before you got involved with the clickbaiters, like you. From an outsider's perspective, looking in, you can tell that you were grinding. So. Throughout the Cheryl Crow clip right here. Yes, for sure. Cheryl, <laughs> yeah. well, let's do it. So but as you can see, Brad has earned his stripes. Yeah, and yeah. it's you know oh, it's sure. one of those deals. You caught some great videos, and this dude is killing it on Facebook. And y'all might not know. And TikTok. And TikTok. He's a TikTok star. Yeah, okay. Like what do you, you take your clothes off? No, he twerks. <laughs> he twerks. Oh, he twerks. Y'all yeah. yeah. haven't seen him on TikTok. Why don't you show me some of your moves? Show, yeah. Yeah. show me some of your twerking. Yeah, let's see you twerk. <laughs> No, What's that one TikTok where, where they fall on the watch, ground yeah, and they start like? like yeah. I don't know if I can do that. I mean, so, we would be willing to like <laughs> like to see you try. A lot of our audience may not know, but we are actually uh, bigger on Facebook than we are on YouTube. All of yes. us. All of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's very interesting how that works in our audience. It, uh, I don't know. Are, are they the same? Is it different? I, don't I, know, I definitely think it's different. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, there's some crossover. Yeah, I think but, you have some crossover, but. From just in general, I think the Facebook audience is way different yeah. than the YouTube audience. I, agree. I feel like even if you just look at the analytics, and I know the, the Facebook side of things, or I'm sorry, Meta, as they want us to call it now, um, they're not as you know accessible as they are on YouTube. But like I know, for instance, my analytics, I have a way younger audience on YouTube than I do Facebook. My Facebook audience is a I much can agree older. With that. Facebook's I can a little more like, like globally as yeah, well, for sure, yeah. reaching other countries. Where I mean, obviously, other countries have YouTube. And you know, and honestly, like you kind of. I don't want to say pioneered that, but like when we all started work together two years ago, I don't think anybody there wasn't really anybody this is in the outdoor true, industry. This is a that, true story. All right, I started making Facebook fishing videos. Nobody else was doing it. All of a sudden, I started making really good money making these Facebook fishing videos, and I'm like, Matt, you have got to post. I'm talking to Beach Bob. I, I thought like, it was like and, the and Matt thing. was like, yeah. Why would I post? I can't get this page to grow. I was he there was like, for that conversation. He was trying to day. fight me yeah. about posting <laughs> on Facebook. I'm like, You need to post on Just Facebook now. And he did, and like, oh, gosh. Up and well, that was like, that's almost two years ago. Two years. Two it was literally years right when you and I started working together, mm -hmm. when all that came about, because I remember hearing you guys had that conversation about Facebook and growing those, those right. pages. Right, and so. it was, uh, it's funny because it didn't look like it at the time. It looks like growing a big page was like impossible and right. making yeah. money was Super impossible. Hard, yeah. And it's really what they wanted at that time because they didn't have any creators. Right. And so I kind of got in. And now thanks to Beard and Brad, every outdoor person in the world's <laughs> on Facebook because he won't shut up about it. <laughs> You've been talking with the East Coast guys. Yeah, Land Shark, Land and Shark, and Ryan Corey. I think those are good dudes, man. Like I've, yeah. I've followed those guys for a while. I like their videos, and so you know, it'd be cool. Yeah, to see they're, 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 it'd be cool. They're to gonna see blow them. up. And you guys, yeah. you guys just took 
were tripping fish with him, right? Like you guys. We fished with Ryan. Ryan. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Down in Juneau. Super cool dude. Yeah. That like we, he, I think he's gonna come up here and do some fishing. That's cool. Well, he's yeah. gonna be. I don't know why, but okay, come on up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You live in South Florida. Listen to me. I have it. I have a great mangrove snapper spot that I can take. Too. Yeah. <laughs> so well, those guys like we can whack lady fish on the yeah. beach. All day. <laughs> For us here, the that don't really have snook, like we think snook fish is like the coolest thing, but they have snook that they can catch every day. And they day. probably see and they us don't have redfish. Red fish, so they want to come like up that. here and do yeah. get into I our redfish. Yeah. And I, I think that's probably universal across the board. I think every area, like different area of the country has got a fish that they're sick of catching, but if we go there and catch one, we're like, oh my gosh, this is just great. Like we, you and I will drive, or all of us, I mean, we'll drive nine hours to South Florida to target snook at one So time. I saw a really big bluefish today, and right. I'm like all excited about this bluefish, and I know that there's some dude on the east coast of the um, United States that's like, oh, that's, we catch those, I get, I get sick of catching those, you know? Every, every bluefish video you make. It's a, yeah, you but I like them, they fight them. hard, and I think they're a cool fish. I mean, it's like, the, it's like the northern pike, I catch it. Blackwater. They're a lot bigger <laughs> up at, uh, like in the, you know, in the, the northern Great lakes. lakes. In the Great Lakes where they're originated. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. muskier bigger. Yeah, and that's weird because I would think of them swimming all the way down here that they yeah, get stronger they get bigger. bigger but that's not the way it works. Yeah, maybe they're burning a lot of calories. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all got some good, uh, good, like, fishing South Florida well, trips lately, haven't Brad you? Brad did. I, I struggled. You got the first one. I did catch the first one and the smallest. Let's yeah, see. As far as, there's a couple things in life that we never admit. One of those is that Brad fished better than us. Look, there's always a way. It's okay. Did you, know? you say, when he posted on and Facebook, it, first thing hey, I called was Photoshop. I'm, I'm gonna get real, I'm gonna get real here for a second. I'm gonna tell you why Brad outfished me. Because you fished harder than I did. You think? I slacked I wasn't expecting that answer. I wasn't. You know, I was expecting. He's the you hardest used to fishing reel. Out of yeah, used to because if you think about it, like, I think as far as while I was on the pier, I only saw you catch two stuff. You were yeah. you put in the time yeah. and the hours to make we, it happen. We basically stayed there until the pier closed. Each yeah, day. which I did. Yeah. Like I was. That That's what I was saying. Like, you fished harder than I did. It's crazy. Which most of y'all probably saw Beach Bum's video of dropping the GoPro. And there's like literally hundreds of snook all over the place, and you're just sitting there looking at them all day, and they they just decide to eat randomly. But the, the bite tends to pick up later in the evening as the snook are moving up to the beach so that's what I was catching like the 37 Those inch and cool the 40 videos, inch yeah. Yeah. both were like I've later in the day like after 6 p.m. yeah yeah, well, kudos to you, man. Thanks, man. I mean, like, gotta use those big mango snappers. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> which, which is le it's legal. It is legal. It's legal. There was an FWC uh, officer on I the was pier that say, we talked. So, to. when you say it's legal, so like, is it legal here? FWC on the pier down there told us it was legal. But of course, we all know. Okay, okay. y'all comment below if you know. Is a mangrove snapper? Not if you think. If you not know. if you think. Yeah, if you know if a mangrove snapper is legal to use it for bait in the state. I mean, of it may, if, if you think about it, and his, his explanation, I mean, it makes sense. You can keep them. Yeah. As, as long as it's, as legal, as it's a legal size. Legal size. Yeah, but and it could be in your as long as you're staying within your krill limit. Which is five. You can keep five. But, you, so. but, but on the same token, we can't. We can't. I can't go out and catch a Spanish mackerel. No. And use here's it as a better bait, example. But we can freeze it. I can't use a vermilion snapper as bait. Right. Okay. They stop us all the time trying to use vermilion snapper as bait out there because they're an amazing, really good long, king, amazing <laughs> offshore bait. Now I've never used them. <laughs> I wouldn't know. From, from what I've heard. <laughs> from, what, from what I've heard. From what I've heard is you can catch a PB king. Like if you were a guy yeah. like me. You could, if you <laughs> wanted to, you could drop a vermilion snapper down and catch your personal best king ever. You can also do that on ruby red lips. Yeah, but you can also catch them on ruby red lips too, because uh, that's what I caught mine on was a <laughs> right. ruby red It red was lip. not a vermilion was not a vermilion Definitely snapper. Definitely not a But I'm just saying, I probably could have caught a bigger one than what I caught had I dropped a vermilion down. But yeah. I didn't want to cheat, so I didn't do that. So wait, so time out. Yeah. So you did, I, I, I didn't, I watch your videos, but I don't ever watch all the videos. So like I skimmed through it, yeah. so just like I'm sure y'all do with me. Did you say in your video that you were using a mangrove? Not in the beginning, because at the time because of, he thought he was <laughs> <laughs> at the time of recording. Let's this just video. hold. Like, stop traffic a second. There are more mangrove snappers yes. in the state of Florida yeah. than like we need to kill someone. One hundred percent. Yeah. 
I'm not saying what you did you sh like from a moral. Like I'm not that guy. Like, That's like you saying you used, used an ally for bait. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's not that. I mean, like literally in, in my underwater footage, you see a whole school of mangrove snappers swimming down the pier. So it's not like we're short on them. Yeah. I'm not judging you. I just want to know if when you started that video, did you think you were breaking the law? Yeah, was it yeah. premeditated? <laughs> now that you're I think what, you're, what you're trying to ask is, was it premeditated? Yes. <laughs> Did you premeditate what's it? The, what's the statute of limitations? <laughs> but, Can they still come out? You, you said this the other day, and this brings up a good point. As fishermen, like, because we get these comments about how we treat fish, and like, oh, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, like, and everybody has their own personal convictions about stuff. But, like, there are things that you should just kind of be okay with. I do this podcast every Tuesday called the Ripple Fishing Report. Pretty cool. Been doing it for two years. Great information. Talk on it. Yeah, it's great information. What else would you do on a podcast, yeah. right? I've never heard of them doing a podcast. I know. He yeah. told me the other day. So, so we've been doing this for two years. Me and four other guys along the Florida Gulf Coast here, and one in Alabama, I believe. And we were talking about this the other day. And, you know, everybody, let's just face it, gets butt hurt over certain things that you do with it. Oh, my gosh, you didn't wet your hands before touching that fish. Or, oh, you broke a tarpon off at the pier. Let's just hold on for a second. You literally just ripped a metal hook through this dude's mouth, yanked him out of his habitat, and fought him for 30 minutes if it's a tarpon and got him to the pier. And you're not going to be okay with breaking him off. <laughs> right. like, give me a Everything break. else is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like, give yeah. me a break. Yeah. Or Well, and it's like I told you that we get that comment every year in July when we post all these tarpon videos. Every tarpon that gets hooked on that pier dies. Videos. Number one, if that's the case, where are all the dead tarpon? They're, because they, they that, never show up the on other, the beach because the news was reported. Yeah, two weeks ago they hooked, they literally hooked a hundred tarpon. Brand's dad was there. We talked about it. Okay, if I went over right now and I took a, a hook and I stuck it in Ron's mouth and yanked it through his cheek, Can that's gonna that? that's gonna hurt no. like hell. Yes. Okay, but he ain't gonna die. Okay, neither, and you can leave that hook in there for two months and he's not going to die. Right, less infection. Side. Now, I'm not saying that that is, like, if we try our very best to handle fish appropriately, but there are cer certain times where it just is impossible. If we get a, a, a tarpon up and we can beach him, we're absolutely going to do that. I had a video recently where, like, a lot of the fish I was catching, <clears throat> they were small, and I was, like, slinging, slinging them up and trying to grab them, but, like, they would flop off the hook and hit the ground, which I try not to do that, obviously. I'm trying my best, but I got all these comments about, oh, you know, you don't even know how to handle your fish and all that, or whatever. Here's the thing, like, there, when you're fishing, there's a lot of things that are outside of your control, for one. You're already putting a fish through a lot of stress and all that. It's it, you, if you are not okay with all that, you just don't need to fish. You don't need to fish because I got And you don't need to watch fishing videos. Right. You know, yeah. like, I mean, and, and I can respect that. Like, if, I, I if, agree. If, if you are on the stance like, no, I'm not going to fish because, you know, I get that. But if you are a fisherman and you actually actively go out and fish and then you come on a video of ours <coughs> and berate us for anything like that, I have zero respect for that. Like I really, like, because or tolerance. Yeah, I mean, like, just respect just, like tolerance. No, because you can't tell me you've been fishing your whole life and you've never had these things happen. Throughout the you just don't have somebody with a video. You haven't camera. fished enough. Yeah. If you have, and, and <laughs> me and Ron were talking about this the other day. I first of all, how many bonita are there? Millions. <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> millions. Uh, but I'm talking about too many Bonita. Nobody keeps them. This still is like the greatest. All right, nobody, nobody keeps Bonita, and if they do keep them, they kill them immediately for shark bait. And certain people eat them, uh, but not many. They're not good. They're I've tried them twice, and, I, and I'm very liberal with my taste buds. And so I get this Bonita up to the boat. <laughs> Don't call yourself liberal. <laughs> Ever. On any I know. Kind of it's my taste buds. I, I'm, I'm literal. I'm very, I'm very open. So I get, got us where we are today. I get this <laughs> bonita up to the boat, and there is a big bull shark on its tail. Okay, now I had already told Brian that I'm keeping this bonita for shark bait. All right, so when I pull that bonita into the boat, he is going to be suffering, and and I'm going to have to kill him and put him in the ice cooler. All right, there's that's one way to die. But I had it. I was videoing it, and I saw this giant shark chasing this bonita. I'm like, oh my gosh, and I left the bonita in the water for a second, and I let the shark eat the bonita in one bite and got it on film. And Instant you would have thought death. that I had killed a puppy dog. You did. You killed, that was somebody's pet bonita. 
They probably named it Earl or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, like, if you saw that, what would you have thought? I would have thought it was amazing. I mean, I would have been like, this is really cool to see. I mean, like, that's just nature. This, I mean, obviously, you're affecting it, but. Like, and yeah. I wasn't really affecting it because I would have had to pull really hard to what? get the that's blue. Not, out, that's not nearly as bad as beach bum feeding a tarp into a hammerhead shark. Oh, I, I was just thinking about that, which I was not there in that video, by the way. We can talk I, about I, that yeah. one. Yeah. Talk, but it's the same thing as if you put an LY. I mean, there, I guarantee you there's no more LY than there are Bonita. No. You know, yeah, there's no, a million no. of those. If you put an LY on a hook and let a, a, a trout. Eat. Okay, so that's, that was my, my point. All right, you catch a mullet this size. And you hook a live mullet on and pitch him to a shark. What's the difference? What is the difference? Like, or a bluefish? Why are we upset about? I the do it with bluefish all the time. Well, so why I mean, are we even upset about the a cigar, cigar minnow? We go out and catch cigar minnows intentionally to take you know out why? for bait. I'm going to tell you what. Bonita lives are more important than cigar minnows. Bonita lives. lives matter. Bonita lives matter. Yeah. But like that's your next t-shirt. You know why? Here, I think this is what it is. I think it's. I've thought about this. Honestly, mm -hmm. I think it's fish with nicknames. Like what do we call bonitas? Bobos. Bobos. It's a cute nickname. Uh, we don't have a nickname for cigar minnows, but I bet if we did, it would piss me off. We do, actually. Six. We call them six. six. So what's everybody's catch of the year so far? What, what's your best catch? Obviously, 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. More, more so than the tuna? I mean, yeah, tuna, tuna, tuna on a kayak is way more rare than, than stuff. So we did no, talk about this really last year. Uh, uh, like, yeah. I mean, at that time of year, there were like there. tons of people catching I know, but like, you, you can but go. But you got to be, you pretty much got to be at the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Any of us could go down to Florida right now and have a good shot at a 40 inch snook. Most any time right. of the year. Have you ever caught a 40? No. Yeah. But I don't fish but, the east coast of Florida. No, but you did the, the west coast, coast of Florida. Is hard if he to wanted catch. to, if he went and spent yeah. a week down there right now, oh, he, he could probably get more. Fish. I only fish. I don't fish. Blackfin tuna yeah. from a kayak. Yeah. You have to absolutely uh, target 40 inch snook to catch 40 inch snook. Yeah, you, you can't. Be, right. You have to use a legal True. bait yeah. that you convinced yourself somehow well, that it was legal. <laughs> there's way more people that have caught 40 inch snook than there are blackfin tuna out of the kayak. True. Yeah. So, what's your catch the year? Blackfin tuna out of the kayak. Man, beach bum. Well, I, I did catch my PB bass out of a pond. And, and it was if you pick a PB bass over a blackfin tuna out of the kayak. Okay, I've been fishing for bass my whole life. <laughs> yeah. And that's the big case. If I caught my PB bass, it would trump everything. Else. And, and like, that, as far as social media, like, that particular clip and video has done amazing. Really? Yeah. What about you? Uh, I caught the, uh, I caught a rod and reel and a tiger shark in the same clip on my GoPro. I believe, so I <laughs> <laughs> Your best bottom. catch is on a And on it got a million GoPro. views. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to go with that one. Yeah. Rod, was yours yesterday? No, no. I'd say mine would be a day. And it was the day that, if, I don't know if I've caught one distinct fish, but the day you and I went out to Three Mile with those freshmen, Hayden, it was insanity. Like, the amount of bull reds we hooked in like 15 minutes was nuts. I ended up landing three, he landed three from the piling. So that was definitely like the moment of the year. I mean, we just, we couldn't miss. I mean, it was like, I had two bull reds hooked up at one time on the boat. I'm fighting one and my rod's bent over on the front on another one. And That's we weren't there for like 10 or 15 minutes. I mean, there's no question that that was it for me this year so far. Well, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let us know about podcasts. Ideas. Podcast yeah. ideas. If yeah. you enjoy this format. But again, like Brent said, we still continue to fish all together. Yeah, and that's what we want y'all to, like, if you watch all our channels, you're going to see all of us. My last video was a party with all of us over at the house with Melanie making food for us. So, I mean, you're going to see us all in okay. our, on Yeah, Netflix we started the greatest yeah. drama ever that we didn't like each other anymore. And <laughs> we've never even had a problem, but yeah. for some reason. Do you know how many comments that I've gotten? Like, oh, I can't believe um, that you guys aren't friends anymore. Uh, why did, I heard about the falling out. Well, yeah, I, I've been I've gotten weird comments about me and you, and we fished together twice this year that we haven't made videos. Have we? Yes. Yeah. There was uh, we went and we were trying to make a clip. Oh yeah, we were at the super yeah, 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 yeah. and then also you can't. We were at the pier the same day, mm -hmm. but neither one of us made videos. That was a bad day. Y'all, yeah. y'all two probably have <coughs> fished the least together. Yeah. I probably fished with you more than any of them, yeah, which is weird because we live like a mile apart. Yeah. I challenged Brant to beach fishing. Competition, but when was that? He never accepted. I never. I posted on my computer. Yeah, I didn't hear. I about called it. you out. It's like six months ago. I didn't hear about it. Yeah. First, you, if you want to give his attention, you have to do hashtag set the standard. Okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. <laughs>